Hi. We're going to read about Bambi today. Look at the bunny and the butterfly. And there's Bambi. <gasps> and who's that? That's a skunk. I bet he stinks. One spring morning in a little hidden forest glade, a fawn was born. All the birds and animals came to see him, for he was a very special fawn. What will you name this young prince? asked Thumper the rabbit. I will call him Bambi, the mother answered. Isn't he cute? Look at all the birds and the raccoons and the squirrels looking at him. He's a cutie. The forest was filled with friends. The opossum and squirrels and robins and wrens all said, Hello, young prince. When Bambi walked down the leafy path with his mother and Thumper and Flower, the skunk, came out to play with Bambi nearly every day. Look at the opossums hanging by their tails. Aren't they cute? There's the bunny, and there's the skunk, and there's Bambi. One morning, Bambi's mother took him down a path where he had never been. At the end of the path was a wide green meadow. What a wonderful place the meadow was. There was so much room to run and jump. Bambi leaped into the air three, four, five times. When he stopped to catch his breath, another fawn came up to him. Hello, she said softly. Bambi tried to hide behind his mother. Don't be afraid, Bambi, she said. This is Faline. Her mother is Aunt Edna, Ina, excuse me, Ina. Soon Bambi and Faline were racing around the meadow together. Ooh, she looks a little different than he does. Suddenly, they heard hoofbeats. A herd of stag came galloping across the meadow, led by the great prince of the forest. The great prince was older and bigger and stronger than the other stag, and he was very brave and wise. He said just one word, man! All the birds and animals followed him back into the woods. Bambi was at his side. They heard frightening, roaring noises behind them as they ran. Ooh, that's kind of scary. Later, when Bambi and his mother were safely back in their thicket, his mother exclaimed, That was man in the meadow, Bambi. He brings danger and death to the forest with his long sticks that roar and spurts flames. Someday you will understand. The months passed and the days grew cool. Winter was coming. One morning when Bambi woke up, everything was covered with white. It snows, his mother said. Go ahead and walk on it. Bambi stepped out and saw... Thumper sliding on the frozen pond. Come on, Thumper called. The water's stiff. Bambi trotted onto the ice. His front leg shot forward. His rear leg slipped back and down he crashed. That's okay, said Thumper, laughing. We can play something else. Winter is fun. He can't stand up on that ice. But winter was also a hard time for the forest animals. Food was scarce. Sometimes Bambi and his mother had nothing to eat but the bark of a tree. One day, when it seemed there was no food left anywhere, Bambi's mother found a new pale 
blades of grass growing under the snow. They were nibbling the grass when they suddenly smelled man. As they lifted their heads, they heard a deafening roar. Quick, said Bambi's mother, run for the thicket. Bambi darted away. He heard his mother's hoof prints behind him. Then another roar from the man's gun. Terrified, he ran faster. Look at him run. When Bambi reached the thicket, his mother was nowhere in sight. He sniffed for her scent. There was nothing. Mother, he called out, racing wildly out into the forest. Mother, where are you? The great prince of the forest appeared behind him. Your mother can't be with us anymore, the prince said. You must learn to walk alone. Bambi did not understand, but he knew he must listen to the great prince. In silence, he followed the old stag through the snowy forest. At last spring arrived. The forest was turning green and leafy, and Bambi was growing into a handsome buck. One day, Bambi met a beautiful, graceful doe in the woods. Hello, he said. Who are you? Don't you remember me, the doe asked. I'm Faleen. Gently, he licked, she licked Bambi's face. Suddenly, Rono, a buck with big antlers, pushed his way between them. He began to nuzzle Faleen down the path. Faleen is coming with me, he said. Boy, he looks ugly. Look at him. He's over here. Bambi charged forward and butted Rono with all his might again and again. He and Rono crashed into one another, forehead to forehead. A prong broke from one of Rono's antlers, and he lost his balance. He fell to the ground, hurting his shoulder. Wow, that's not good. <gasps> Here's the piece of antler. Can you hear Grandpa with the door creaking? <coughs> Rono limped by, off by himself, and Bambi and Faleen walked down the path together. That night, Bambi and Faleen went out to the meadow and stood in the moonlight listening to the east wind and the west wind calling to each other. One morning in autumn, Bambi sniffed the scent of man again. As he ran to warn Faleen, he smelled something else too. Smoke. The old prince came and said, the forest has caught fire from the flames of the man's campfire. We must go to the river. Bambi turned to Faleen. Run, he said. Run to the river. Faleen raced off as Bambi and the prince ran to warn the other animals. Oh, no. What will happen, I wonder? At last, Bambi and the prince struggled across the rushing river. When they were safely on the other side, Faleen came running to Bambi. They stood with the other animals on the bank and watched the flames destroy their forest homes. When the forest is green again, I will be very old, said the prince. Bambi, you must take my place then. Bambi bowed his head. Look at all the fire. Orange and yellow and red. It's kind of scary. When spring came, green leaves and grass and flowers covered the scars left by the fire. At the thicket, the squirrel and rabbits and birds were peering through the undergrowth as Faleen and her two spotted fawns. And not far away was Bambi, the proud father, and the new great prince of the forest. Aren't they cute? Look at them, both of them. <laughs> 